In the interest of education, the KER Public Affairs Department now presents community involvement, an in-depth look at our community. And here's your host, Jonathan Roberts. Welcome back to another edition of Community Involvement. We're here today with Sean Tai from the Oakland Digital Arts and Literacy Center. Thanks, Sean, for taking your time to speak with us. Happy to be here. Well, let's just start with a, a basic introduction first. Tell us a little bit about Oakland Digital. Oakland Digital was founded in 2009 by a group of technologists who were really interested in bridging the digital literacy and opportunity divide. Our mission is to educate, inspire, and empower underserved communities to participate and succeed in the increasingly digital economy. And you do that through a variety of different ways. Let's sort of get an overview of those different methodologies and the different ways that you're doing that. Sure. So for the first goal of bridging the opportunity divide, we have a program called Inspire. It's our workforce development program that really incubates overlooked talent by giving design students the tools and resources to overcome economic barriers to success. So these are designers who come from low-income backgrounds who have not had a professional portfolio piece. Partnering with local schools such as Laney College, Berkeley City College, Cal State East Bay, we go into the schools, partner with the design departments, and offer a three- to five-week program that provides extra professional development resources. So we work with partners like Wix.com and Zazzle to teach the students how to get their work online. And at the end of this program, they get their designs on billboards as a professional portfolio piece that they can bring into the workforce. Oh, very cool. Now, how long is that program last, you said? Three to five weeks, depending on what the school can implement. And are you just in Oakland only, or are you in other areas of the Bay? Well, we are Oakland Digital for now, and we really want to focus on our model being successful uh, before we expand and scale. So we're really big on measurables and metrics and making sure that the students that we help actually get employment. Let's keep moving on here. Tell us what's next. So bridging the digital literacy divide. My mom's been a small business owner in Oakland since 1969, and I've seen the struggles that she's had in recent years, specifically with digital. The digital literacy divide is very important to us to close that gap. So we provide the digital equity program. It's a three-month program that provides social media and technology training to underserved small businesses here in Oakland. And what we mean by that is one to five employees, the business owner making less than 49000 a year, located within a three-mile radius of downtown Oakland. And so we actually work with them three months with the aim of increasing their income and assets. Educate. Yeah, so educating we do through our social media for small business event that's partnered with the mayor's office of Oakland. It's at Oakland City Hall. It's an annual symposium where leaders like Google, leaders like Yahoo, Twitter, come and speak to aspiring entrepreneurs and small businesses. And that's kind of our outreach event. It's a three- to five-hour event. Every year for three years in a row, it's been capacity. And it's a great way for those that are afraid of technology and intimidated by technology to kind of dabble and get into the world of technology and digital. You are listening to Sean Tai from Oakland Digital. And here's your host, Jonathan Roberts. We're back with Sean Tai from Oakland Digital. He's going to continue telling us about their programs. Hey, those that are really interested can then move forward to our digital equity program. And our digital equity program, like I mentioned before, is catered for a more hands-on, not just an educational approach. So, for example, one of our businesses from East Oakland this year, Blackie's Hair Care, she actually had an issue with computer literacy. So beyond digital literacy, understanding how to scroll, understanding how to right-click and left-click tabs of browsers. And from there, how do you even log into a website? Uh, The digital equity is a step further the education aspect of social media for small businesses is just getting them interested in digital, hearing directly from the leaders of tech today. Excellent. And these programs, these, uh, these small business owners are actually coming to the center to learn this stuff. So for the social media for small business, that's at City Hall. And of course, their capacity is 250. At Oakland Digital, we have a very small space. We are volunteer driven. So it's 650 square feet, enough to house about 10 computers. So it's literally a packed house here with volunteer instructors that are sourced from IBM, that are sourced from Yelp, that teach these businesses directly and answer questions from how do I create a content calendar to 
why should I be on Instagram or Facebook? And how can that help my business? And so, yeah, we actually do help them at the facility here. It does get crowded. We are looking to expand. We're looking for people that believe in helping us bridge the digital literacy divide. Hopefully get a center of our own that is larger and that could have a larger capacity. Well, let's um, let's finish off with ways that listeners can get involved. Tell us about different opportunities there. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that IBM is a partner of Oakland Digital uh, in lending talent to help with our programming, specifically this year with our Digital Equity for Small Businesses program. Volunteer as an instructor, volunteer on an operational level, give to us in kind. But more importantly, just be excited about digital for good, technology for good. Uh, stay in touch with us on our Facebook, or they can just Google us. Google the acronym ODALC or Google Oakland Digital and find ways that you'd like to be involved with us. We're very startup culture. We're more than happy to incorporate your ideas, your passions, your strengths, and help you succeed. You are listening to Sean Tai from Oakland Digital. Community involvement is a presentation of the KEAR Public Affairs Department.